In this video, I want to talk about the device's map view in the management console for Defender for IoT. And so the device map view is formed when the sensor goes out and does its, its learning and discovery of the environment. And in previous videos, we talked about how that works. So when it goes out and does that discovery, it's going to form a visual representation. And by default, it's going to show you what's called the Purdue model. And I encourage you to go out there and learn a little bit more about the Purdue model. But this is how an OT or operational technology environment is typically segmented. You've got your physical machinery or devices. Uh, you've got your uh, OT devices that are monitoring those physical machines or controlling those physical machines. And then you have the supervisory network that's monitoring those IoT or OT devices. And then you have your enterprise network. That is where your users sit and printers and servers and all that stuff. And so we're going to show you how this is segmented in the network or devices map view. Now, if I zoom in on this, I could see details of what it discovered. I could see IP addresses and host names of different devices. I could see if there's any uh, alerts for those devices as I scroll around. And here you can see it's got the Purdue model uh, that shows me where these devices sit. Now, I can immediately filter by MAC address or IP address if I want to. I can look to see, are there any active notifications for any of these devices by clicking on, whoops, clicking on the chat icon here. If I click on the eye, I can view properties of each device. We'll come back to that here in a moment. I can click on the clock and, and look at uh, history here. So show me all the active devices in the last five minutes or last hour. And then over on the far left side, I can change the view a little bit. So from Purdue to maybe uh, by connections, I can say hide the Purdue lines. I can tell it to, um, to uh, uh, hide or show the different multicast and broadcast addresses it found. I can save this view. I mean, check it out. I can, I can move things around as I see fit. So I could save that as maybe a custom view. I can come in here and I can collapse different networks. Uh, so if this is a large environment, I might have dozens and dozens of networks. I might want to organize those and collapse them for better viewing. But the device map view is where you come in when you want to triage alerts, which we'll talk about alerts in another video, and also where you want to might investigate what's happening in the OT environment. Now, if I click on the hamburger menu, this is going to allow me to do some different uh, filtering and different views here on what we're looking at. So I might say, hey, you know what? Show me all devices that are communicating with the Siemens S7 protocol. And so I can just click on filter here. And here's the devices that are communicating using the S7 protocol. Now, if I choose highlight, it's going to just highlight those devices in blue. Or I can come down and maybe say, hey, show me all devices that are, uh, you know, doing DNS UDP traffic. And so here's the devices that are doing DNS UDP traffic. Um, you get the idea. So that's an interesting way here to triage and, and filter and, and look at how this is working. I'll talk about groups in another video, so we're going to skip that for now. Now, as I look at these devices here, I'm going to zoom in. And as we look at these devices, I can kind of click on them and choose properties and learn a little bit more about that device. And so here I can see the host name. I can see properties about the device that we discovered, if there's any other attributes that we discovered about the device. I could see that it's secured versus unauthorized. So this means that the sensor determined that this device should be there, or an actual human behind the scenes here determined this device should be there and marked it as an authorized device. If it's a scanning device, which we'll talk about in another video, I can tag that as such. If it's a programmable logic controller or PLC, I can tag it as that as well. And I can add it to any kind of custom group. And then here's the protocols we discovered that this device is communicating with. And so that could be interesting if I'm triaging and doing an investigation. Now I'm going to come down here and look at the actual OT devices themselves. So here's an OT device that if I right click and choose properties, I could see a little bit more about it. So it's a, a, a GE Energy device communicating on the DNP3 protocol. Let's choose another one. Let's right click on this one and choose view properties. Ah, here's a little bit more of a sexier view. Here's a Siemens AG device communicating using the Siemens S7 Plus protocol. And I can see it's unauthorized. So I might want to check that out. 
Uh, maybe it was mistagged, or maybe we actually determined that this device shouldn't be there. Now, what's cool here is I can view the backplane of that device. And so if this, if this, this is a rack-mounted device, so I can see some information about the firmware of uh, the power supply here. I could see information about that programmable logic controller. I could see information here about the different slots in that device, so on and so forth. Now, if you're kind of curious about this, if you go over to the documentation and just do a search for PLC, you can read a little bit more about uh, what a PLC is and then how we can view the information here and what that means. So this is an actual uh, uh, device that was discovered. And here's the, the back plane, if you will, at the different slots, which corresponds to the slots here in the view. So folks, that's how you work with the device map view. Uh, I can right click on these and I have access to other options like show events, view activity reports, simulate attack vectors. I'll do more videos on those things later on. But I just want to get this out there so you can start working with the device's map view. And I highly recommend walking through the documentation to also learn a little bit more about how to use this device map view. Okay, folks, if you found value in this, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to talk about device inventory. All right, take care. We'll catch you all later.